With the Thunder release 3.32, we introduced the highly requested feature that enhances the editor experience. Let's see how the new autosave function works in Drupal and what limitations we face. In the edit view of an article, we will make a change to one of the fields. As you will see in the bottom right corner, a new model appears that shows the user that his draft was saved. Now let's go back to the content menu and see if we have kept the progress that we made before. Coming back to the edit view, you are prompted with the question if you want to resume with your latest edit or if you want to discard it. As you can see, the automated saving feature retrieved the latest progress that would have otherwise been lost. Auto save settings can be found in the content authoring menu inside of the admin configuration tab. Here we can change, for example, the interval of every autosave. By default, it is set to 60 seconds. You can also set the time for how long the autosave model will appear to the user. You are also able to customize on which entity types and forms autosave should take effect on. A limitation of the autosave feature is that it will only work once you have created an article and saved it initially for the first time. Going back to the content overview, you can see that the new article wasn't saved and doesn't appear in the article list. Let's create another article, only this time we make sure that we save the article initially. Now making changes in the article, you can already see in the bottom right corner that the saving draft appears again. Let's take another look and you will see that you are prompted again to resume the progress. Thank you for watching. If you have further questions, you can click the link in the description to get in touch with us on Twitter or mail. You can also join the Slack community where over 300 people can get an answer for you.